Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am going to talk through this absolutely gorgeous ring that we've just gotten in. It is a special order for a client, but I wanted to show you guys what is actually capable. Um, this client gave us a picture of a ring. I will put the images on screen of what she wanted, but she wanted a couple of little changes and that's exactly what we did when we were designing her ring. So I'm going to give you the reveal first up so you guys can have a look at the ring. I'll talk through the design and we can go from there. So this ring is an absolutely gorgeous Usher cut. Stunning, absolutely stunning. The main stone is a 9.5 equivalent carat. It is a lab created diamond. So you guys know that I make lab created diamonds um, for my clients and we do them with moissanite stones. This ring is stunning guys. The detail of the profile and the band is just beautiful. So the client wanted a three band style. So one band, but with three rows of diamonds. Um, and also the side profile of diamonds. I mean, have you seen anything so beautiful in all your life? It is so gorgeous. There's even two halos here um, and the hidden halo and also the bottom halo both have diamonds on them as well. Just stunning, stunning, stunning. This is in a 14 karat white gold. Um, so we do white gold, yellow gold and rose gold. And we also do platinum. Um, but platinum is a lot more expensive. The Usher cut is just beautiful, I think. Um, I think this stone, when it's cut well, is absolutely stunning. When it's not cut well, it can look very plasticky and very glassy. But in my opinion, when it's cut like this, it is just stunning. Um, there also are not a lot of lights that are on this ring. So I will insert a studio shot of this ring under lights so you guys can see how it actually looks. It is just breathtaking. Um, I love designing unusual rings like this. What I really love about this design is the fact that it's got this vintage setting with all the diamonds all the way around, a really chunky band. Um, and the 9.5 carat. I would have probably gone a tad bigger on the carat personally, but this is personal taste guys. And I know sometimes not everyone wants a big bougie diamond like me, um, like this one's a 20 carat. Um, I actually think this is a little bit too big. So I have changed the size of this on the website to a 15 carat, just the one step down. It's I think about a mil one or two millimeters smaller, but I think it'll make the world of difference also depends on the size of your fingers so if you have larger fingers you can pull off a larger diamond if you have smaller fingers you can pull off a smaller diamond and the ratio the proportions are kind of the same if that makes sense this is one of the first usher cuts that we've done and i absolutely love how it looks i actually think this would be stunning in a pink um, a pink diamond and yes we do do pink diamonds, um, colored diamonds, yellow diamonds. We also do sapphires, so blues. Um, yeah, just depending on the uh, product and if we can source the raw materials. At the moment, there's a shortage, but I know that in a month's time, that'll be all okay. Uh, so yeah, anything is pretty much possible. So you saw earlier on the images that the client gave to us. She said, I want you to replicate this ring for me. It was um, a cheap ring that she was given. And I believe it was sterling silver or something like that. And it was just cubic zirconias. So she wanted to mimic that ring um, in like a lab created diamond. Um, I'm also gonna show you this ring on the finger so you guys can see. 
Now I have size, my fingers are seven and a half, so I have larger fingers than most um, and quite chunky wide hands. But you can sort of see how gorgeous that setting is. I mean, it is just stunning. What a great way to have like a multiple band look without having multiple bands that you have to fit on your finger. I think that is quite clever. So this is going through a quality check at the moment. When the client uh, contacts us and says, this is the ring that we would like, I usually give them a quote and then um, they would pay a deposit. After they pay a deposit, usually within seven days, I will send back a CAD drawing of this ring. So I would say, okay, we've drawn up the ring. Let's just be clear about you know exactly what you want just to make sure that we've got it right. Sometimes it's not as clear as the images that this client has sent. Sometimes people are creating their own style from their head. So they would supply me with multiple images. You know, I want the stone to look like this. I want the band to look like this. I want the setting to look like this. I want the profile to look like this, etc. So because of those reasons, sometimes when you're combining all those two, it's hard to visualize what the ring will actually be like. So we always make sure that the client approves the CAD drawing. Now I'm going to put the CAD drawing up on screen so you guys can see um, what this actually looks like. It's not pretty. It is a technical drawing. It is for the factory to be able to make your ring uh, perfectly to specification. You will also notice that on the sides of this ring and the profile of this ring, all the tiny lab created diamonds and the halo around the claws in the band on the sides we've actually put over 310 tiny diamonds all the way the way around now i don't know how many carats that is i haven't calculated it but the fact that there are over 300 tiny diamonds around this ring is absolutely gorgeous you can see that in the CAD drawing um, and you can see all the specifications. Now we got this one spot on, so we didn't have to make any changes at all. And the client was super happy with the design and said, just go ahead, make it. I can't wait to see it. So we went ahead and made it and it just arrived in yesterday. So I thought I would give you guys a quick look at this gorgeous ring. I usually don't like to do the stones all the way around but I found that these ones were so tiny that it was okay my ring here I wouldn't recommend doing the stones all the way around I if I was to do this ring again I would probably do it a three-quarter or a half band um, because I think it's more durable and I'm always worried whenever I'm banging my hand on a table that you know it's gonna bang and smash and and ruin the ring and I would feel so much more comfortable if it was just gold um, like a white gold at the bottom So that's just food for thought. I think a 9.5 carat is a really beautiful size For someone who doesn't want something too Humongous and it still kind of look a little bit real I think between the 5 carat and the 9 carat I think is a beautiful size uh, My mother has an 8 carat and I think that one looks really bougie as well. She also has quite large fingers. So um, I think she can pull off the nine, the eight carat. This is gorgeous. This is in a size, I believe it's a seven. Correct me if I'm wrong, it would say it in the CAD drawing, but really, really beautiful. I've never been so in love with an Usher cut before. I think this is gonna be a forever ring. This ring's actually for her 10 year anniversary of her wedding. So um, really beautiful, beautiful gift. Really nice gift if you guys are thinking about gifting your partner a, um, a ring or upgrading their ring after five years or 10 years. This is the way to go guys because you can get something in gold, you can get something that they've always wanted. You can really upgrade their size and make them feel super special carrying around a big bougie ring. I know I feel really special whenever I'm wearing mine. So there you go guys, what do you think of this Osher Cut three band style ring? Do you love the setting as much as I do? I love the side profile of this. I think it's absolutely stunning. The fact that the stones go on the side as well as in the hidden halo and as well as in the claws 
I mean, it's just, it's like a pave style all the way around, super bougie and luxurious. There you go, guys. What do you think of this ring? I would love your comments down below. And what is your stone shape? What is the stone shape you've always dreamt about having? Um, has it been an usher cut? Or are you more into the rounds or the cushions? I love me an elongated cushion, I have to admit. It's one of my favorite cuts. Um, but I'm also starting to lean into ovals. I don't know what it is. I find it very classic, very elegant, very timeless. And it is uh, one of the, probably the next ring that I wanna purchase for myself. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys love this ring, or if you're thinking about a ring or upgrading your own ring, Head to my website, it's heartsarrows.com.au. We do all custom made rings made of 14 karat gold. I can do 18 karat and I can do 10 karat because they are made from scratch, but our preference is to always make it out of 14 karat. I find that it gives a nice balance between luxury and durability. Um, and I find that if you go higher in the gold count, it kind of ends up um, a little bit too soft and I don't think that's very durable. So we always like to make things in a 14 karat. But head over to the site, you can always check out my Instagram as well. Um, I do post some things on there, but if you wanna head to the website, I believe there's a sale currently, 30% off, so it is the time to buy if you guys have been considering it. I know that uh, we won't be doing that for very long. Um, so head to the site, check it out, check out all the other styles, but remember that you can customize because they're all made from scratch. So really think about your dream ring and what you are wanting. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you love this ring as much as I do, and I'll see you in my next video.